What's up, what's up, you guys? It's your boy Geppetto here again in the building. Thank you guys so much for the support. Um, I get a lot of questions about my hat. I genuinely can't recall where I got this hat from. I knew it was a website, believe it or not, from China. So I might have to go like digging in my email, but you know I always stay repping for the black power. You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, this video is honestly a year overdue you guys um i want to discuss uh, me attending afropunk and again this video is over a year late um how i decided to do this video was because i'm actually going through my phone and just deleting a whole bunch of videos and i just scrolled back to when i went to afropunk um, in 2017, uh, fall 2017, it was so lit. Um, I didn't get a chance to go to um, last year's Afropunk in 2018 because, um, you know, my schedule was really crazy. But I'm here to like post some clips and just give you guys the 10 um, tips to having a successful time with Afropunk. Really and truly at any large music festival this can apply to, but just to give you guys some backstory on Afropunk, it's a very Afrocentric um, concert, um, outdoor concert. I heard about Afropunk a few years ago, but I, I, for some reason I always thought it was only in New York. And one day when I was on Facebook, I um, saw an ad for it and I was like, oh, oh yo, Afropunk is coming to Atlanta. I didn't know it came to Atlanta. So one of my friends and I, shout out to my homegirl Marissa, we was like, we're going to go because a lot of my other friends were like, what's Afropunk? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, they didn't even really announce all the big acts then, but I went the year that Miguel and Solange were um, the headliners. And like I said, that was one of the best concerts ever. And throughout the video, I'm just going to... Um, post different clips from all the different artists performing but yeah let me give you the top 10 tips to surviving afropunk number one uh afropunk has an option where you can buy a single day ticket or you could go ahead and just buy the weekend buy the weekend for some strange reason a lot of people say well okay well i only like this uh headliners so i'm only gonna go on one night it's worth buying the entire weekend buy the entire weekend pass and enjoy yourself uh, both days were lit um, me and my friend we went both on saturday and sunday thoroughly enjoyed ourselves both days saturday was miguel he freaking killed it i probably put it some clips of miguel singing here be a black boy, you can be the top and i can be the walk even when the sky goes falling even when the sun goes down Sunday Solange headlines, freaking amazing as well. I'm gonna put some clips of Solange here. So that's the number one tip go ahead and just buy the whole weekend um, and if I'm not mistaken Afropunk for both days was only like 90 bucks which is like pretty good compared to like a Coachella where you spend in a stack or something for like the whole uh, weekend which is crazy but um yeah go ahead and buy the whole weekend number two be well rested I think a lot of people mess up where they go to like these outdoor festivals and they're running on like three hours of sleep you're going to be out there for anywhere from six to maybe even 10 12 hours you need to get some rest 
So if you're going on Saturday, make sure your ass is in the bed that night before and you sleep in and get some good rest because in Africa, you are walking a lot, you are standing up a lot of time for a long periods of time. So you need to be rested whenever you go to an outside function. Number three. Now I know a lot of people may have seen like the Afro punk, um, what people wear. Um, I'm gonna post what I had on both days. You know, number three, be creative with your outfit, but be comfortable. Again, you're going to be on your feet for long periods of time. And if you got on a super tight or hot outfit or super weird shoes, you might look fly, but after an hour of that shit, you're gonna get tired and you're gonna wanna like, either leave early or not stand up and there's like no really no place to sit at these outdoor festivals so you definitely want to be creative but be comfortable in the outfit you put on okay be comfortable creative but comfortable number four decide how you want your experience to be and what i mean by that is do you are you going to really just embrace the feel or are you going to really treat it like a concert like you're going to um, enjoy all the musical artists some people don't really you got to find out the kind of people you're going uh, luckily for me my friend and I we both are like music heads so we came there and we were willing to stay the whole time and um, you know we, we, we watched pretty much every artist some of your friends may not be that game. They might want to only stay, come for the main act or whatever. Not me. I was like, I paid my money. I'm going to see all three of y'all, all of y'all perform. So this depend on who you're going with and what kind of experience you want. Make sure that you guys know what you want and how you want to enjoy the festival. Because if you're going to stay and enjoy all the artists or you're just going to come for the headliner or just come to shop or just be there for a little bit, just decide on how you want your experience to be. Number five stay hydrated I can't stress this this really should have been number one but when I was at Afro Punk both days I kid you not at least like four people maybe even more passed out in the crowd like they were like you just see these people lifting these girls and like carrying them to the security because these girls didn't drink I guess they probably drunk too much alcohol and not enough water you have to stay hydrated drink water yeah you want to turn up and have you a little drink or two but don't overdo it because heat plus dehydration is automatically a bad thing so make sure you stay hydrated don't be super hydrated because then you're going to have to pee so just make sure you drink a lot of water before you come when you come try to use the bathroom when you can because when you stand it in the crowd you um you definitely don't have the option to move around a lot but you have to be hydrated so always keep some water on you all right, number six, patronize the vendors and the black artists. Um, Afropunk had like amazing setups with like people who were painters, um, fashion designers, fashion, um, what else? Just, just help gurus. They had all kind of things. I wish I had known that because, um, we, me and my, my, my friend and I, we didn't bring like bags or whatever. And I wish I had known that I could have, we would have came probably a little earlier just so I could like shop and then like probably carry the stuff to the car and then came back to enjoy the concert because it was a lot of stuff I wanted to buy, but then I just didn't really want to walk around with like a big old painting and like a bunch of clothes or something that I just bought and I wasn't able to like, I didn't want to hold them throughout the concert. So definitely try to get there if you want if you're a shopper and you like to uh, patronize black businesses and so forth definitely get there a little earlier and go around and shop buy some food and all that stuff and yeah definitely support your, you know your fellow black artists and so forth number seven now this is where um, I said you got to know the kind of people you go with where you actually get in the crowd because there's like numerous stages and stuff going on but then you have like the main stage if you get in the crowd at the main stage and if you download the Afro Punk app, they'll tell you like um, the the timeline of when certain artists are coming out. When you get in that crowd, you can't move. Because if you just if you think by the time you stand up and you blink in like 20 minutes, it's a whole crowd of people behind you because that's how concerts happen. 
it just starts piling up as the the main act comes on. So you can't just turn around and say, oh, I'm about to go to the bar because many people are not gonna let you back in. So like I said, enjoy yourself, come earlier, do all what you gotta do, sip, use the bathroom because when you get into the crowd, you gotta, you can't move because you gonna have to understand you're gonna be there for a couple hours waiting until the main act comes on because they're the crowd nine times out of ten not gonna let you come back to the position you had. Number eight, show love to all the performers. One thing I hate about um, some people, they're like, well, I'm only going to go see Salon, or I'm only going to go see this person. Like, yo, you gotta show love to all the artists because some of your faves were opening acts at one time. So when you do go to Afropunk, support all the artists that come on before. I stayed in the crowd, there's a lot of artists that I didn't really know who they were, but you know, I definitely stayed, listened to them. Some I really liked, some not too much, but it was just the experience. Go ahead, discover new music. Go ahead and support all the artists that taking their time and talent and displaying it on stage. So yeah, stay for everybody's set. Don't be rude and like walk and start talking and all this stuff. Like, Respect um, all the other artists, even the same way you're gonna respect your fave when you're watching them. So yeah, definitely um, show love to all the performers on the stage. Number nine, make friends in the crowd. Man, when I tell you, I met some really lit people at Afropunk. Some of them are still like my IG friends and stuff like that. Um, you're going to need each other because it's anything from, I had one girl who straight up said, can I lean on you? And I'm like, go ahead, little mama. So she just kind of leaned up on me and I let her whatever um, lean on me to catch a break or whatever. Um, people, anywhere from people was like, um, I need some gum. You will see everybody reaching in their pockets to give gum. Then when they started handing out waters, we all was like this little family in the crowd, like, you got some water? You got some water? Okay, cool. You're gonna meet a lot of cool, eccentric, dope people in the crowd. Again, make friends with people in your crowd. Don't don't be so stuck up and, you know, very stush about it. Like, uh, yeah, no, nah, I don't wanna talk to nobody, you know, because you're gonna be up in each other's face and you're gonna be smelling everybody's funk. A lot of people that sweated out their deodorant. Some people needed some herbal lessons for their hair. But yeah, you're going to just have to deal with that and be up amongst the people. So definitely become friends with the people around you in the crowd. Number 10, most importantly, have fun. Afropunk and any of these music festivals, yes, they want people to go out there and have fun and also learn. What I really like, the host of Afropunk, he was really just preaching about having fun, inclusion, you know, uh, Afropunks, um, their slogan is like, uh, I think it's like no racism, no hate, no um, discrimination, no homophobia. They just had a law then. You could just feel the love in the crowd. It was just beautiful people from all walks of life. And there were quite a few. And don't think just because you're Afropunk, that doesn't mean like, you know, people of other ethnicities and white people can't come. And there was a, quite a few people, white people there too. And it was just love. Um, like I said, I am definitely, this video is a year late, but I'm definitely God willing planning to go to Afropunk 2019. Um, yeah, I had so much fun. I can't wait to go back. And yeah, I'll put clips throughout the video. It's lit. I 100% endorse Afropunk and I can't wait to go to that. Hopefully I could do like some hosting for them or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright you guys, so that were my 10 tips of to survive Afropunk. If you like the video, you like me, you think I'm cute, you like my beard, you like my hat, you like my swag, whatever it is, go on ahead and hit subscribe, hit like, comment below, let me know your experience in Afropunk. Um, should I try to go to Afropunk New York? Should I try to go to Afropunk Africa? And I think they have one in like Paris or London, I, I can't recall. But yeah, let, you know, let, let's network, let's see what we can do. Alright, follow me on Instagram at it's your pedal. Subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. I love you guys. I'm cranking out these videos for y'all, okay? Salute, and see y'all next time. Ow.